in January of 2016, we learned two days after my birthday that our son, who was 20 weeks in utero, would be diagnosed with a heart defect. We were sitting there in the room, and the technician who was looking at everything reviewed it and said, well, you know, he's got 10 fingers, he's got 10 toes, he's got, you know, great lungs, the brain activity is great, and, you know, we just kept going on until she paused and she stopped. And there was a long silence, and that was petrifying. A cardiologist came in, reviewed the video, and determined that there was some form of an abnormality in Leo's heart. They made the recommendation that now that we had this heart defect diagnosis, the only place for us truly to deliver would be at Texas Children's Hospital. For the Women's Pavilion and the Fetal Center, we do all interventions on fetuses that require an intervention. We actually have a meeting once a week that we present these cases and discuss it with neonatology, geneticist, high-risk maternal fetal medicine, our OBs that help to deliver our patients with cardiac defects. So that as a heart center here and as Texas Children's, we're able to have a maternity center that has all components of some specialties and link that with the heart center. So it's a really perfect program to give the child the best outcome for a good normal life. We came to Texas Children's, had another fetal echocardiogram, and they took us into a room with a diagram of a heart, and they showed us that Leo had Tetralogy of Fallot with pulmonary atresia and a ventricular septal defect. When they said those words, it might as well have been in another language. I cannot tell you, other than the drawing and the, you know, the word defect, I don't think I remember much of that day other than crying a lot. I remember as we were going through the discussion of the heart defect, uh, Rachel was pretty overcome and was very teary and uh, Levi was just, you know, very tender with her and sweet and trying to comfort her and sometimes it's really hard to just push through and have to get through the information that they need to hear. As a fetal cardiologist, we are really the window into the heart center. We will completely destroy a normal pregnancy. We end up making a family very sad that they have congenital heart disease, but after many visits throughout the gestation, we've empowered them with the knowledge and the information that they're able to deal with and understand what needs to be done for their child to really repair that heart and then give the child back to the family to take care of. We had no idea what we were in store for. We just knew that we were at Texas Children's Hospital and my father, who's a physician in Michigan, said, you have nothing to worry about. They are the absolute best in the country. We were told there was a possibility that Leo would be rushed immediately to the NICU um, and that we may not have that skin-to-skin -skin moment, that t bonding moment with our newborn. Leo was not born blue. He was born pink. Uh, he came out and got to hug him and hold him. And then I went with my son to the NICU. So they wanted him to gain a little more size and a little more weight um, before they conducted that surgery. Day 23 was surgery day. Leo's heart surgery was about eight hours. That day um, was a blur, but I remember Leo being pulled away from me to go into surgery. We said, you know, our good lucks to him and kind of gave him a kiss before he went in. The day going by through updates and, you know, how many people really cared about us and were there for us and I uh, the last memory I have which we have on video we just sent out one massive hey text to everybody and it was just Levi and I telling everybody he was fixed chest is closed and he's fixed off bypass and he's fixed <sighs> so Leo is two and a half he is perfect um, What's really amazing to me is that 11 months of the year, I don't even really think about Leo's heart. Um, Leo does not take any medications. He does not have any life restrictions. Every November, we will go see Dr. Nancy Ayers, who is our cardiologist here at Texas Children's. 
My fetal patients are like good books. Uh, we see them at the beginning of pregnancy, and I've followed many now that are married and having children of their own. So it's sort of like a good story. You, you see them in utero, you meet their family, you know about their family, uh, and you kind of grow with that family and that child. And I think that's what we're here for at Texas Children's, not only to repair their heart, but to make them normal. He is the happiest, most vivacious, sweetest little boy. He's fearless. Uh, I see that there is nothing that this kid can't accomplish. Leo's first full sentence, you know, then when he started talking was, I did it. And that to us is really Leo's theme. I mean, literally, he was so proud to say that he did something. I don't know what it was. It was probably Drew Marker on my walls, but he still said, I did it. And that is Leo. I mean, there is nothing this little boy cannot do. Texas Children's, they became an extension of our family. Because of what we've been through and because of the strength that we get from Texas Children's, we know that we're ready for whatever is to come down the line. Before we even knew of his heart condition, uh, we had come up with his Hebrew name, which was Lev. Lev means heart. Leo is our heart, he is our survivor, and he is our champion.